we've actually got haunch of venison here today rather than the loin. Um, we actually re served all the loin on Saturday night, so we run out and, and a piece of the fillet. And that should be in a 50 degree bash. So we're just going to pop that in so it's um, cooking while we're doing the rest of it. With the, the venison, we're going to, uh, we've got braised red cabbage, which I've got in, in the backpack bag. Um, so we just warm that through in the water. Normally we'd just have that in a pan on the stove. Um, same with the garlic puree. Sorry, um, parsnip puree. Um, we've got a jus, which we've already got made, which is a reduction um, of the, the cooking liquor from all the bits that we braise down. Um, this is going to wrap, we're going to roll the, the loin and uh, or the actual haunch in this afterwards. So you've got garlic breadcrumbs, uh, which are panko crumbs, just in some, uh, heated up in some garlic oil and then browned and crispy. And into that is some parsnip crisps. So we get the parsnip, we'll um, take the, peel it down, get the roots out of it, put it in a robo or a food processor. Um, and just a touch of water into it, take it out, wash all the starch off it, and then we'll put that into a pan of hot oil. So basically that's almost warmed, it's, it's warmed the venison through and started the cooking process yeah, rather than fully cooking. That's it. So that's just, it. You, you're cooking at 50 degrees? Yeah, that's cooked so at 50 degrees. What you're saying is then you're not actually cooking, you're just warming it through? With this, the length of time it goes in for service, yep. it is. So we've got the fillet, which is, uh, we're going to seal off in here in a second with some garlic and some, some thyme. And um, the piece of loin, which is, uh, sorry, the, the haunch, which is going to go in first. And just for the freshness on the dish, we're going to, we've got the red cabbage there, we're just going to put a little bit of diced apple just to finish with the dish Lovely. off. Yeah. So all we've done is just seal that off, and all we're going to do is, is just sit that in the jus just to keep, just to, to coat it. It's not to cook it, it's just to coat it. So on the, the base layer we've got uh, the parsnip puree. We basically covered the, the parsnips once they've cut up with no, with no root in it in some cream and some, um, and some milk, seasoned it up and just left on the side of the stove to cook out for about three or four hours so it's just really, really softly done. And just process that down. Um, the red cabbage goes on top. Just a couple of bits of the, the kale. We've got a mixture of the parsnip and the, and the garlic crumbs. The, the loin has just been rolled in the sauce, so when you actually put it into the crumbs, it sits on it. That looks good. And then the fillet goes into the, the almonds, so you get a nice nutty flavour with the, the chocolate. One piece of the braised. Two portions here. Just taking off the outside. So you've got the three types of uh, the free cuts from the different parts. Um, and we've got some parsnip ash as well. The haunch, the fillet, and the, the braised um, the braised piece. That's with the red cabbage, the parsnip puree, diced apple, um, the Western Wow. Um, red cabbages and that's the dish.